Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekly's YouTube channel. Today we're here in Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and today we are going to be doing the Wild Africa Trek directly behind me. It is a behind the scenes special experience with the animals. It's gonna be super intense. I have no idea what we're in store for. I'm just along for the ride, but definitely wanna check it out. If you're thinking about doing this, then you're in the right place. Make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Right, guys, like Lewis said, we're here, we're in Animal Kingdom. Super excited to be here. This is part of my 35th birthday celebration. Um, so, I, if you guys have been following us for any length of time, you guys will know I'm definitely the more Disney-fied person of the two of us. Lewis is a great sport, comes with me, and does all the things that I want to do. So, um, he has no idea what we're doing, and that's going to be, I think, a fun thing for me. So, um, hang out with us and experience the wild uh, after track with us. Let's go. So first things first, we're gonna get checked in. Uh, this little kiosk behind us, and we'll let you guys know what we get. All right, guys, we are all checked in. We are signing away our life to uh, Animal Kingdom, and then meet that anything crazy happening. Uh, but then, let's see, a couple of good things. Uh, we are gonna get some name tags. They're gonna give us a water bottle. It's a three-hour uh, event. Um, two hours in, we're gonna have a snack. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see hopefully plenty of animals. Uh, so it's like a private safari with like a little hiking. So it should be a good time. Unfortunately, we're not able to bring a lot of stuff with us, so we are going to do our best to capture as many pictures and as many other videos as we can. And then I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hang out with us. All right, guys, so here we are. We're in the inside of this area. We are getting fitted for harnesses, and we put everything up in the lockers, so we'll be sure to re um, let you guys know like all this a little bit later. It's kind of a little bit of a fast paced thing. So, long story short, you literally can't bring anything with you other than things that you can attach to you. So, we have uh, our GoPros and we have um, some phone that I can attach and it's in like a wrist strap. So, uh, plenty of tips for you guys at the end, that's for sure. All right, guys, so I am officially all uh, geared up. So, we have a little harness on. Um, literally, everything I have is attached to me. So I have an earpiece so I can hear what's going on. I have my hat on because it's hot as you know what here. Uh, sunglasses are attached. Um, they said no magic bands because they could pop off. Uh, and you, can, you, you could bring your big camera if you wanted to, but the cast member said that um, most things are close enough to where you're not gonna need it. So Lewis and I each have our phones and our GoPro. Um, actually, no, Lewis does not have his phone because he doesn't have a case on it. So um, he was able to just bring his GoPro. So I've got my phone, my GoPro, and he has his GoPro. So yeah, it should be a really great time. So let's go. All right, guys, just got checked in and we're heading on back for our tour. So super excited. We got our harnesses on and we got our earpieces so we can hear what uh, our guide is saying and we're ready to go. And in case you guys didn't know, uh, Animal Kingdom is a accredited zoo uh, with the AZA, the American Zoo Association. So that's why they take such good care of their animals here and uh, basically have all the same requirements and guidelines that your typical local zoo will have. All right guys, so we are still here uh, in the like, um, uh, like the gorilla walk through place, um, but we're actually gonna hop on a private uh, trail and go see what we can see. Let's go. All right guys, we're getting all uh, locked in and we're gonna go check out the hippos. So let's go into the actual exhibit. It's gonna be fun time. All right, so we just got strapped in here for our very first encounter. We are backstage here at the hippo habitat. And yeah, so far, pretty easy, but we are attached. Oh my goodness. And this is what the uh, tattoos look like. And she is calling for the uh, hippos to pay attention. And maybe wake up for a snack. I can always try get it. So that is Hans and Henry. Two males together. I guess they're his uh, and father. Or in the wild. I was going to ask, but I guess they're, they're friends. One of my favorite things so far about this tour is that we can wave to all the tourists driving by in their vans, and they all wave back. So check this out. All of them are waving back. <laughs> Apparently elephants can swim, they run across the bottom, but these, oh, sorry. did I say elephants? I meant hippos. Okay, hippos. Can you see the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. All right, so our very first harness in was pretty short. You can basically see the entrance and the exit right there. So we really didn't walk very far, but now we're unharnessed again. We're back on the nature trail and we're going to head on down to the next exhibit. Interesting fact we just learned about the hippos, they, they have to clean their teeth. Um, and they say when they do that, they actually have them trained. They can, they can, the hippos can open their mouths 160 degrees. That's darn near flat. And then the uh, zookeeper, the handler, 
will actually insert the top half of their body completely inside the hippo's mouth as they're checking all those back molars and stuff. I bet you that's a sight to see. That must be insane. I would love to do that. Okay, so we are going to head up this little handy dandy um, walkway and then go across the coffee with it. Are you ready for that? I am ready for the bug spray that we yeah. started waiting for us at the top of this hill. Yes, uh, it's <laughs> a lot of mosquitoes. A lot of mosquitoes. So. Bring some bug spray. For sure. Up the stairs. All right, guys, it is August. It is hot. So definitely recommend uh, bringing bug spray and uh, drinking a lot of water. So they do provide you with these um, <clears throat> water bottles. Pretty sure we get to keep these, take these home. Uh, but yeah, fill them up and use them. All right, and now we're getting ready for the most adventurous part of the trek here. We're going to cross these little bridges. That's exactly why we need these harnesses today. So this looks like fun. There's definitely some gaps in the bridge as well. Um, I think that's more just for aesthetic. I don't think that those have actually broken through. Fingers crossed. Uh, we are going to be using our carabiners and uh, touching in, and then we're going to head over the. We're going to head across uh, that bridge right there and uh, live our best life. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. So I think uh, we're going to be walking over the hippo legs a bit, so hopefully we'll see some of those guys. And then there's the next bridge where we're going to go over the crocodile. So, yeah. This is kind of cool while you're waiting. There's like some things to look at. So there is a giraffe. And just kind of cool. We got a hippo. I think the hippo is kind of cool. I think they have little toesies. But I think the uh, rhino... It looks like a giraffe too, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, kind of like, yeah, yeah, ears. yeah, the ears. Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, but I think the rhino is kind of cool too. It's got like um, a little the hippo, thumbing. So the hippo looks like a giraffe in this. Yeah, okay. Giraffe looks like a hippo, but this is a Florida Hmm. It's kind of Alright, so you're all strapped in. Uh, he's going to go through here and across the bridge. Now we're going to stop and take a couple pictures, yeah. but it's a three hour tour and a three hour bridge. Have fun. See you on the other side. Right. <laughs> Hopefully for, not for the last time. First few steps. All right. It's not so bad. I saw a couple people out there kind of freaking out about the steps and stuff. I don't know. I'm not too afraid. Just got to watch where you're going. And that one there got a big chunk taken out of it. <laughs> Good thing these aren't like real wood. I think they're like plastic or something. But yeah, you see the, the vehicles going below me. I feel like I need some Indiana Jones music. If you be going any slower, I mean, is he nervous or what? I guess he's just taking pictures, but he's, he's living his best life. I'm here for it. I'm not seeing any alligators out here. Definitely seeing some cars drive by. Just... <laughs> He's precious. Oh, there's the there's the crocodiles. Okay, they're over there. Wow, they're big. Almost. We're about halfway through. Oh, there's some broken ones. They're just there for props. Alright guys, here we go. Alright. See, Christine is coming along now. She's taking it like a champ. Ah, okay. Oh, you know what? It's not super bouncy, so it's not bad. But it's you're short. <laughs> All right, definitely a cool experience. Hi, honey. <laughs> Should I do it? Should I jump? Should I jump? <laughs> no, stop that. Do, do not shake this. He's a rude boy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I don't know why she lets me go first. She knows I'm gonna do that every time. I guess if I was behind her, I'd be doing the same thing, though. So from here, supposedly, you can see the hippos. So we'll see if we can see those guys. This is really cool. Highly recommend this experience. <laughs> I'm coming. You're going to follow these black hairs straight through this back wall. Just keep going. Keep uh, going. Keep going. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, keep going. Oh, there you okay, go. Okay, there we go. All right, and then you're going to follow the rest of these black arrows and really, really follow them. And then I'm going to wait right there to the beginning of the next bridge. I'll let you know what you saw going. All right. Heading over bridge number two. And I see there's Christine. Yeah. You all right? All right, now we get to really cross over the crocodiles. So we learned about the difference between the alligators and the crocodiles. So the alligators have the more rounded mouths and the crocodiles have more pointed snouts. Although alligators are a part of the, I think it's the crocodilian family. So they are related. So all alligators are crocodiles, but not all crocodiles are alligators. And it's a long way down. 
this is exactly why you have the ropes and the harnesses and everything that you bring with you on this trek has to be attached to your body so you don't drop anything turns out uh crocodiles don't eat gopros in nature so uh don't want them to have that as a snack oh there's a big one oh there's two big ones all right guys that's where we started we walked across this bridge there's a little like uh like area to hang out here and then we're gonna go this way across the cracks but yeah that's where we <laughs> Lewis is on his best life <laughs> hi everybody <laughs> i like waving to people it's fun yeah look at them crocodiles what big teeth you have Starts going again, yes. Okay, perfect. So we didn't see the hippos because I think they are probably around the corner, but we're definitely gonna see some crocs, which I'm super excited about because those are big, spicy boys or girls. <laughs> oh, there's some more crocodiles coming on up here. They just got they just got like resting angry face. I don't. They don't look like they're very angry right now, but I think that's just how they naturally look. I'm just gonna see them like right there, right between this broken log. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see those big old rocks. Those are not crocodiles. Yeah, pretty cool. The big old crocodile. Oh, and there's one over there in the water too. I almost didn't see him. I gotta keep going. This Christine's catching up to me. She's moving pretty quick. You all right back there? Said so you all right back there? <laughs> Talk about a bird's eye view. <laughs> All right, yummy. Would you like a photo? Yeah, sure. Comes two of them. All right. Three, two, one. All right, guys. So that was super neat. Really enjoyed walking across those crocodiles there, getting an up close look at them. Uh, definitely a unique experience being that, like that angle above them, like that. And you kind of get to be part of the spectacle too for all the people driving by. So, I, but honestly, I think my favorite part is just giving the bridge a little shake, watching Kristen go freaking out. But that's good. Fun times. That was so cool. That was a lot of fun. Would you do it again? Yeah. Yeah? Say so my favorite part though was actually just turn around and give me a little shake. Stop doing trying to give me a heart attack on my 35th birthday, you guys. Like, seriously. Yeah, keep that ticker beating. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's working, right? Yeah. Okay, so we just crossed the bridge and on the other side waiting for us, they do have some cooling towels, although these aren't really very cool. They're more like chamois. Oh, we get them wet. That's what we do. I don't know what we're doing. I don't just pat, pat, pat. Uh, but they also have water refill, yeah. so you get to keep these cool water jugs too. So I think this is, so I think this one is meant for the towel, this is meant for the water. This is drinking water. Oh, it is drinking water. Oh. Did you put the towel water in, in your... Yeah, I think it's all potable. Uh, and we have these neat little black balls, so I happen to know that those are for bug control. Mm -hmm. Particularly the yellow flies, they uh, put some sort of like molasses or something on there and they get stuck to it. So then while you're waiting for the rest of your um, like party to come through, they have some little things you can look at. So we've got another rhino paw, well, a uh, hoof, so I think it's a hoof technically. I have a leopard paw, another hippo, Folks, if you've taken a poppy. A towel, go ahead and collect them for us, please. All right, we're gonna go get up close and personal with the crocs. Mm. Now we're out here on another little walkout with our monkey tail cords again. And we're going to be about 10 feet from our alligators here. Oh, look at that one's got his mouth open. Yeah. Ooh, right there. You yeah. Reach out and touch somebody. Yeah, so there's one right there, one right there, 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 and there. Look how big those yeah. feet are. They get little trackers on their tail. Mm -hmm. Sit. Little, little trackers on their tail so that way you don't shoplift them. The top boy. <laughs> thick boy, thick boy. All right, and now we're back on the nature trail, heading on out to the next exhibit. So let's see what it is. All right, guys, so we're leaving the Crocs and heading over to the next thing. So let's you know what it is when we get there. Now we have left our harnesses, yes. which feels amazing, by the way. And we are boarding our own private little tour bus. Here we are situated on the safari bus. All righty. Binoculars. Just a little bit. Just a little. Monoculars. Mm -hmm. As opposed to monoculars. But they're binoculars. There's binoculars. You can have trinoculars if you have three eyes. All righty. Grevy's even, which you have on the Eagle of Inspiration Trail. One of the cool things about this part of it is actually we get to pull off on these little side uh, trails and we can actually get up and get a closer look and move around. You can't do this when you do the normal safari. This is one of our yeah, one of the unique parts of this trip. Look at that 
little baby just oh. laying there in the sand in the sun. So cute. The clips are a little nosy. <laughs> so once the giraffes are in As the, you can see, the animals are in the way, they, enticing uh, them to get out of the road. Them, so he's trying to entice them so we can get back on the road. Hopefully she doesn't start sleeping. Uh, now Twiga is, is actually Eyelash notorious for going ahead and putting his whole head inside the trunk. Well, now she's interested in, oh, now she's just gonna in the bark. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Into the track to steal his max. See if you can see that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll tell you all real quick. Unfortunately, the side trap, they're not. You've seen the magic of Disney's yeah. Animal Kingdom. Look at She's the one who won't cross the bridge. Yeah. Aww. That is her. Yeah, she's still won't cross the bridge. Yeah. I she's love that. Do no, she still won't do it. No. It's up oh to her. God. It is up to her. Um, and she just doesn't like it. We're good to keep going, Julie. Her That's younger nice. sister, Luna, is. Um, Nadira shouldn't love her feeling. Don't get her wrong. Mm -hmm. um, just like. Like her. I love my family. I love my family, uh, but I also love my space. Right over here, we do have these elements to tell apart. Did you notice how many tussles that she has? Hi guys, so super excited. We're here for our like lunch snack thing. Um, so it's super cool. We took the uh, safari vehicle over to like this little uh, like I don't remember what he says called like this like this shelter, I guess. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of what we see here. And yeah, it's really neat. All right, guys, so from here, you just walk off a little plank here. The restrooms are there. There's uh, cold water coming up this way. This is kind of where everything is. There's some snacks, and they're going to put those out. They laid out tablecloths for us. But from here, you can see over here is like where like, the giraffes are. Um, we came this way, right across this little section here. And yeah, the elephants are there. So from here, we can see giraffes off in the distance. A lot of tourists. <laughs> and over here, you kind of can see the elephant just through. Right there. And yeah, there's elephant. <laughs> we have an elephant butt. In this corner, we see what are probably one of my favorite uh, birds, the flamingos. Look at those guys, live their best lives. Okay. Over here, I think, I'm cracked. That might be the lion exhibit back that way, but I don't think we can check it out, but maybe I can see a lion on my Zoom. Let's see. I can't tell if there's a lion behind that tree or not. Maybe. Before I get into that, Jill is coming around with our pop juice. It is pop juice with orange and guava. Ooh, um, we have like a little charcuterie. Olives. Mmm. Some bread in there. Um, okay. Not purple flour, as I had mentioned and, already. Ooh, we have some edible. shrimp. It is a and it looks like um, chicken. Some yeah, chicken. Salad. Some wrap. Some wrap. Some yeah. Some some chicken, yeah, some chicken salad wrap now. Yeah. And some uh, fruits. Alright guys, so our lunch looks awesome. So on top we've got hummus, we've got like uh, olives and like mozzarella and cherry, or uh, prosciutto she said, a uh, little granola in here. Then we get a uh, little spoon to eat that with. And then we have shrimp, chicken salad, and some fruit. I'll give Louis my shrimp since we all know what that does to me. So yeah. Sounds like I'm gonna be eating some shrimp and some uh, olives. Yeah, because I'll do that either. Sorry, I don't have any um, tomatoes to reciprocate today. That's okay. But yeah, it was really good. Highly recommend uh, enjoying the snacks. So we just had lunch, but you see the elephant braid. That's so cute. Hi. Yeah, so lunch was delicious. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. It was really good. They do serve shellfish mm -hmm. uh, and Tomatoes. Yeah, so I <clears throat> unconfirmed, but I think I have a little bit of a, an aversion to shellfish, so I just don't tempt fate, especially yeah. in Disney. So, anyway, I could have said something and I just forgot, so yeah. I'm still learning yeah. about it, I guess. So, but uh, it was in my shrimp, said it was really good. I did not eat the tomatoes because they were in with the shrimp, so. Yeah. And mangoes, too. Not, no. You don't like melons. Melons, it's melons. yeah, it's honeydews and cantaloupes, don't like those, but. Yeah. Everything else was really good. Mm -hmm. the tandoori chicken, or yeah, the, the shrimp. tandoori shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, the hummus was delicious. The olives, very good. All right. I guess we're gonna load back up in the uh, truck and head on to the next video. Hopefully, we're gonna see some big heads. Yeah, maybe another half hour left in this truck. Okay, let's do it. All right, and that's our time here uh, at the. Uh, I have to remember what the name is, and if I remember, I'll have to put it in there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go see what's next. Go to the next Savannah. Look at those goes. Pretty cool. Their wings is tired. It depends on the species. This is a different species. You know, like kind of only exists under these wings. Well, these are our. Oh, you're gonna stand up? No. You're gonna just no. Okay. I was gonna see you. Oh, okay. Have fun. She's right way up there too. Kind of 
Thank you, Savannah. Cheers. Can I go to the for the couple of a walkie? Um, our oh, we to the Just like that, we're all done. Yeah, so that was, was super fun. really cool. Yeah, so um, we'll uh, give you guys some pro tips here in a minute. But uh, yeah, I had a really great time. I enjoyed everything we did. It was exciting to get out and see just something different in this game. So yeah. Yeah, anytime we get to go backstage and, yeah. and have some a unique experience, mm -hmm. definitely feel very privileged to do that and highly enjoy it and highly recommend it. All right, honey. So what was your favorite thing at the uh, about after track? I liked the lunch. Yeah, oh. No, honestly, the um. Walking over the crocodiles. Yeah, that cool. was pretty cool. Yeah. That was pretty neat. Yeah, I liked. Yeah, I liked jumping on the bridge. First you did. Yeah, I thought being like kind of like over the hippos was pretty cool. So unfortunately, we didn't get to see them like being up and about. But yeah. So would I do this again? Absolutely. Um, would I do it in the summer? Bye, Maddie. Thank Bye, you. Guys. You were awesome. Thank you. Bye, Bye Dominic. Thank you. Yeah, those, those, those were our guides. So uh, they they were awesome. Maddie, Dominic, if you're watching this, you guys are great. Thank you so much for a great birthday. So yeah. So I think seeing the hippos were pretty cool. Sitting on top of those guys and. Kind of getting in the enclosure, but not really in the enclosure. So, yeah, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Super cool. Yeah. All right. All right. And uh, yeah, there's uh, this guy with your pro tips. All right, guys. So here are your pro tips for the Wild Africa trip. I'd say number one is don't stress out if you don't have a uh, super nice camera, your big telephoto lens, because you do get really close to all the animals. And really, your cell phone or a GoPro, something along those lines, you're going to get still really good, really amazing shots, as well as. The cast members are also gonna be there taking your photo so you have some professional photos touched up and everything ready for you to go. Now all that's included. Pro tip number two is be sure to wear your closed toed shoes, you know, arrive 45 minutes early. All the things that are mentioned in the in your email when you book this thing, you gotta be between 45 and, and 300 pounds and you need to be uh, more than 48 inches tall. Uh, those sort of things so definitely pay attention to that email make sure that you meet all the criteria that's required for this trip and pro tip number three is again just be aware of the weather this is florida so depending on what time of year you come uh, it's definitely gonna be hot pretty much all the time but it could also be very rainy uh, so make sure you dress appropriately for that wear your sunscreen bring your bug spray that's super important uh, and any rain gear if it's going to be a rainy sort of day so that's going to do it for us today remember to hit that subscribe button because that's super important we really appreciate it and with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. And uh, coming at you with the bonus pro tip, I definitely recommend booking this in advance. Um, they fill up pretty quickly, especially during like your holiday and your summer months. Um, so especially also on the weekend. So definitely book in advance. All right, guys, we're leaving. Oh, man. One, oh, I guess I lost this. Hey, babe. <clears throat> hey. Weather on the day of your, I feel like you're moving it to the left. Because you are moving around and every time you move you're blocking the sign and it's really What did I say number one was? Oh my god, bro. I swear when he does that he genuinely forgets. He just don't deserve for the updates. Like he genuinely forgets what they are. It's a day we're here in the Magic Kingdom. Oh. Wrong one. Yeah. It is a behind the scenes special encounter with the animals. Is it, is it an encounter? Yeah, yeah. Well it's like, it's, it's like a, it's like a. Special experience. Yeah. So. Right.